Hello, hello, hello. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Como esta capo? Welcome to the Jupino Show. Today, we're taking a side road trip through LaGrangeville, which is on the north side of, no, it's on the east side of Poughkeepsie, near Taconic, uh, Taconic uh, Expressway, Taconic Highway, but uh, these are one of the back roads in LaGrangeville, north of Baird Park, James Baird Park, that's, uh, pretty close to, what do you call it, uh, country back roads. We call it, I call it Hicksville. It's outside the city. It's a rainy day, but we had to stop at the new location for the uh, Filipino store up here in Poughkeepsie. They closed down the brick and mortar store and they're running it out of their garage. So uh, we had to go give Miss Emma directions. One of our Filipino friends who's, uh, who doesn't have directions very well, so we went up here, so she's following me right now. But uh, I just wanted to let you show everybody out there in uh, outside the New York area, outside Poughkeepsie area, what the uh, back roads in Poughkeepsie look like. And because uh, it's pretty interesting. Especially this road. I kind of like this road because it covers everything from forest land to farmland back into city land. Right, but uh, this part of it's the best part. We can pass by. Here comes somebody passing by now. But it's also got a haunted house. You come by at nighttime, it's kind of spooky. Right, uh, and then houses like this that are out in the middle of nowhere. What else is going on? I keep saying and, 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 and. And I shouldn't say that. I should know better for my speech class. And this is the corner of where the old haunted house is. See, the haunted house is right there. But you can't see it because it's haunted. It disappeared. And let's see what's going on up here. Oh, there was a lake we missed over there because they're going too fast. 15 miles an hour is the speed limit. I think I'm doing 20, 25 or 30, oops. It's a car that just popped out of nowhere. It's, it's such a country road. See all the green. So one of my friends who saw her, uh, my videos during the winter time said, oh, the trees look like sticks. Now they just show what it looks like in the springtime when all the green, when all the leaves have grown and all the trees are green. So this is for all the people who wonder what upstate New York looks like when it's green and it's raining. Sorry for the bumps, but we're on a bumpy road. Sorry for all the wiggling and the waggling or jiggling, the wiggle, jiggle, jiggle and wiggle, wiggle. Oh, here's the best part. Here's a farm on the right hand side and uh, we have to slow down here because they have moo cows, real live cows here on the farm. And we always like this part because here are the tractors. Let's see if I can get a shot of the cows. Oh yeah, there's a cow, a black cow on the side of the road. He's saying, hello, moo cows. This is the cow farm. Hi, moo cows. Stop and say moo. Moo to you. Moo, moo. Moo, moo, moo. Okay. So, uh, and then they got some more cows near the barn on the right. They're hanging out. I can't see them. There they go. Hi, moo cows. Okay, that's the... But they have cows over there. So I just wanted to take a look at the cows and say hello. Every time I drive by those cows, I tell them hello with the big moo. Moo for you. And so that was the big moo cow out in the middle of uh, LaGrangeville, New York, just outside of Poughkeepsie, halfway between New York City and 
um, Albany, New York. So we're about two hours in each direction. So for those of you who think, uh, but this is a haunted house too. That's a pretty nice farmhouse. Right. It's up here on the left. But uh, for those of you who think uh, New York is all just one big city, and no, New York is a whole state that's got kind of cool stuff like this. Okay, that's got green trees and cows and apples and farmland to grow things. Um, like corn and oh look he's got a tractor that man's mowing his lawn with a tractor but uh yep we still got Miss Elma following us hey, hang on we gotta make a left turn here to get back to uh civilization we'll pass by McDonald's and oh and this is Overlook, what they call Overlook Road, and I don't know what it overlooks except when we get to the end, we'll uh, be by a drive-through. Yeah, the drive, the one of the last remaining drive-through theaters is at the end of the, this road. The uh, last remaining drive-through uh, movie theaters in the United States here in they've got two in the area there's two in the local area and one on the other side of the county um these are, the ones locally here is owned by a brother and the other one is in hyde park across from uh, the presidential library it's owned by a sister and the brother and sister team that were left by their parents left home by their parents and they're still running it after all these years and the other one is supposed to be on the other side of the county. is called the Dover Plains Drive-In Movie Theater. And that's supposed to be a fourplex. They, supposedly, they have four different screens you know, it, uh, that you can have a movie theater to drive into. But So maybe one day we'll do a show on the drive-in movie theaters. But uh, just to let you know that... Uh, this is the scenery on the back roads on a rainy day. Right? And we're going to be going by where I filmed the yesterday's show of Mayfest. I did a couple of scenes of Mayfest. And they got these big power lines coming from... These big power lines here come from Canada to supply power into New York City. So uh, I guess our county gets a subsidy for having the big power lines run through our county so it helps helps defer tax money and uh, so that's how New York City gets supplied with uh, because they've closed down the India Point nuclear power plant so they've been buying uh, been buying electricity from Canada and they figured that, that, that Canada get all the pollution from the power plants or however they work the deal. But in the meantime, we have power lines running through our uh, our uh, county. And okay, we're almost there. Now you can see the more houses are coming through on each side of the road. You know, cleared grasses. So we're coming in more into civilization. Okay. I wouldn't call it civilization, just more urban housing, more city-like housing, as opposed to country-like housing. But, uh, so this is a, what we call back road trip number 19, I think 19 or 20, where I've shown trips around as I'm traveling, what the scenery would look like other countries of today they're doing uh, I don't know what the other one was whoops sorry looking on the other side of the road but they had a big down that street they had a big uh, garage sale this weekend and that's for each each one of the homeowners decided to 
sell their stuff on a weekend together so they all so people can come down the road and do hit all the same garage sales all at once so it's a multi-family garage sale was down that street and, but, uh, okay and here we go there's a big park on the left hand side here they turned that farmland into a park and they have baseball fields end of Overlook Road here. Now we're running into Overlook Road. I call it, uh, they have a big dragon here. And then the thing, they have an ice cream parlor down there. And right down the street here, sorry for being blurry, it's on our left side, is, uh, is where the movie theater, the outdoor movie theater, that's the big screen for our outdoor drive-in movie theater. Okay, but today's rainy, so I don't know if they'll have a movie tonight. And uh, just up ahead is going to be uh, Germantown, the Germantown Festival Fairgrounds, where we were yesterday. And they have, uh, you know, Oktoberfest in May. They have Oktoberfest in October. Um, to the right here is a very famous go-kart track, but we don't know how much longer it's going to stay in business because uh, the owners are trying to sell it, but it's also got a driving range there too. There's Germania Festival that we were just passing the sign. Sorry, we were passing by too fast. I'm trying to keep up with traffic, but uh, now we're back in actual civilization. Here's Walgreens Pharmacy, uh, car, the, the Garmo Car Wash on the left, and we're back on one of the main highways to, uh, oh, there's Kalks going around the corner there, big plumbing company area, Purple Palace Car Wash, that's the name of it. I call it the Dagarma Car Wash because we're on Dagarma Road, Walgreens, and uh, Walgreens Pharmacy. So uh, we hope you like a little tour to uh, through the back roads of LaGrangeville and to Poughkeepsie. And if you like what you see, please subscribe. And uh, thank you to my 371 subscribers. And uh, hope to get us to 1,000. So thank you very much. Bye-bye.